A lot of people have asked me to watch The Last of Us 2 trailer, which I thought, you know what, that sounds like a good idea. The Last of Us is one of the most talked about games in general when I think about PS4, so it makes perfect sense we have a look at this. But also, a lot of people have been on my case for not watching the end of the Unreal 5 tech demo. So, we're going to make it a double whammy because this is quite a short trailer by the looks of things, only 2 minutes 30, and we're going to watch them both. So, let's get some thoughts and feelings on this. And I've got a couple questions about this uh, game as well, because I saw some sort of leaks or controversy, so I'm going to need you to explain to me, like in the comments and stuff, what's going on with that, you know, because, look, if I'm going to be a part of you, I've got to know the history and stuff, you know, so you're going to have to bring me up to speed. I mean... I wish things were different. Ellie. But they ain't. Yo. Please stop. Okay, so just just so I've got my bearings right, I'm getting a little bit of a Walking Dead vibe from this. Not massively, but you know, zombies and all of that kind of vibe. God damn, what happened to her? I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. Firstly, I can't tell a difference between the cutscene and gameplay here, which is always a massively, massively good thing. But if you were telling me that this is just like a movie that is coming out, I'd be like, well, when are we going to go watch this in the cinema? This looks great. Like, even for like, 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 have you seen the Scoob movie that's just come out, right? That's a 2020 movie, 3D animation. Doesn't look as good as this. I'll be honest, it doesn't look as good as this. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? No, this is dark, man. You can't stop this. This is real dark. I want what you want. But not at any cost. This is tense as fuck. I really hope you make it. Everything about this is. Ooh, she... The water effect as well. Like it looks. It looks. There's so much little things in this that you. You. I can. Can I go back and have a little look at that little compilation? Because there was a lot to just deal with in that. But like, right. As I've said to you. Key things that you need to be doing in games is creating that sense of realism. Not immersion, realism. We need to be tricking the eye into it. Everything in here just feels like realistic. Like I know it's it's 3D, but I mean everything is touching the senses, the sights and senses. Even the choice of music is really impactful here. This is a great trailer so far. I have to finish yes. it. Just there's a cost. Fucking hell. Oh. We could have killed you. <laughs> Maybe you should have. I don't want to wait. This is out fairly soon. I... I think I need to get my hands on a PS4. Everyone's like, don't worry, just wait until you get the PS5 because you can just play them anyway. But like that, how can I not want to know what happened before all of this? Like, this is looking really good. Like, really, really good. And like I said, it's all of the things that massively play into your believability with the eye. It's when the game designers are using the stuff like the lighting to their advantage. It really helps create these dramatic scenes that's all it really is at all like you learn when you are starting to do art as a general thing right one of the first things you do to create depth is you learn how to create the shadow you learn how to create the highlight on that object and that's what starts to create that realism look to it and this is something that is being nailed perfectly in this game this is not fair this is it's just not fair is it it's just not like let's be real about this yeah it's not fair Tell me one thing that's come out in recent time, like an Xbox trailer that's come out that's made you feel like that. Oh wait. 
I'm gonna stop talking shit because I'm, I'm, I'm re I really can't deal with all the ex cocks like in their comments. Like to be honest, like it's ridiculous. To everyone who said I didn't get to the end of the Unreal Five demo, you were correct. You can see here I literally just didn't watch it. It's look, it's where I stopped it. Some people were like, oh my god, he clearly like just rehearsed this video. No, it was a genuine reaction. I literally have not got past this point. It saved it here on my YouTube from the last time I clicked on this video a few days ago, three days ago. So let's get into it because everyone said it's about to get crazy and I. I didn't even see it. This is about where we got to, right? I think this is about where we got to with it. Yeah, I stopped. I got, I geeked out like the second they showed us the, the, the light coming through the top of this. Woo! You see the way that the, her hand lit up, like realistic, like when you shine the torch through it. Come on. There's not much time left. This doesn't. And it's blinding, it's coming. It it's stretch. So good. You see what I'm saying about realism, yeah? This is what I'm talking about. You ever been walking through a tunnel and you get to the end of the tunnel on a bright summer day and you literally cannot see what is coming out of it? It's very hard to recreate that shit for this. Like, for a game. Not for a movie, for a game. This is crazy. I'm so glad people said come back and watch this. Look at this. All the way to the horizon. And then as you get through, it reveals itself, man. Come on. The portal is open. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Don't fail me now. Ah! She's gone. No way. No way. No, 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 no. No. How's it processing so quickly? Hold up. The motion blur don't even look bad. Come on. Come on. Look at the fucking bricks and shit falling off of this, bro. What? <laughs> yes! Honestly! I have waited. I have waited since video games were fucking pixelated and shit to see stuff like this. Do you know what I mean? We see it. We see like modern advancements all around us, but it's been like. There's always been a thing where it's. Oh, cutscene looks like this, and then gameplay looks like this. This looks like a fucking cutscene. Look at the light on her face as well! It's just everything. Look at the bricks. Look at it. Look at the swirling motion. Like it just, it's just a beautiful way of processing everything. I'm going back. I'm sorry. I'm going back. I'm going back. Oh my. That was, that was a fucking ride and a half. You know what it is as well, like, I, like, I'll be real with you, I hate heights, like, I'm, 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 like, I'm tall, yeah, but I'm scared of heights, like, I don't know how that works out, but it is, maybe it's because when I'm high up, I'm even more high up than something else, so then it's, like, really scary, but, like, did your stomach just a little bit go like that when she dipped through, because I ain't felt that emotion in playing a game in, like, forever. Don't it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. The bricks, man, like the particles, and it's all talking to each other, as they said earlier in the demo. It's all reacting in a way that is actually emulating real life physics as much as it can. This is nuts. Oh, the impact when she hit the ground as well. Yes. So clean. So clean. Oh, it's nice to be excited about something for once, man. Like that, is that so bad? Like, are you so mad about that? Like, yes, it's great that you can be excited that this is coming out on any console, but the point that I was trying to put across in my previous video is they are investing time and money to make sure that their fan base is excited. And that's what you need to do. Like, it's all well and good Xbox being like, oh, we can do that too. Then show us you can do that. Like, you know, like, it's not enough to ride off of the fact that you're owned by Microsoft. Just because you're like, the industry default for computers doesn't automatically make you the best when it comes to gaming stuff. Like, there's so much simple things that you haven't applied. I look at people uploading clips from, straight from their, like, PS, yeah, onto online. And it's recorded the voice chat. Xbox can't do that shit. There's little basic things that you've just missed out on that you don't even understand that your audience would love to do. And without being able to do stuff like that, we cannot 
show off for you, right? It's as simple as that. Like, it's as simple as that. So all of you fucking ex-cocks that are so mad about shit like this or whatever, look at yourself for a second and say, is my company investing to me as a fan? And that's what I've not felt for the entire time since fucking 360. 360 was a bit better. I felt like the, the titles they were giving me and stuff. Yeah, you know what? Halo and so on and so forth. I'm feeling loved and whatever. Then we go move onwards, right? And it's like, no, the new Gears sucks. The new Halo sucks. What the fuck is going on? Like, sorry, yeah, it's a rant now. Look how excited I was. And then I just got angry because I know a bunch of people are going to come on here and lie through their teeth and be like, so what, the Xbox can do that? What's that got to do with PS5? PS5 are creating the hype right now and Xbox are doing fuck all. Simple as that. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone. Even if you come on here and you leave some dumbass comment or whatever, I appreciate you. I appreciate that your life is so sad that you got to come along and try to take someone else down. But it's cool, bro. It's cool. If you need me to be that for you, I'll be that for you. Just don't expect me to hold my tongue, <laughs> you know? And to everyone else that's been super supportive, loving, and made me feel like, you know what? I've got to get a PS5 now just because this feels like the better community. Thank you so much. Like, honestly, thank you so, so much. We've seen such a good impact on this channel. And better than that, we've got massive discussions going and that's what this is all about right we have to talk about these things it's good to have a debate it's good to have both opposite sides it's good to have competition to push each other forward you know that only means the further we get the better we get as a community as a gaming community because that's what it comes down to you can be playing on whatever console you choose to but at the end of the day there's a bigger community as well that you need to remember you're a part of that conversation and while it's great to get involved in the tribe war and so on and so forth hey Try and find a way that you can actually constructively put your point across. Because if not, someone else is just going to jump in and call you a fucking idiot. And it's as simple as that, man. And I can't save you in the comments. Because I can't even save myself in the comments, you know? Anyway, I'm not even going to say the normal stuff. I'm just going to say peace, take care, look after yourself. And I am really excited to be a part of this journey that we're all going through together. <laughs>